to Andrei Where today we're jumping into a movie. This movie is called Mission Impossible. Oh, I like that. I don't know why I've never seen Mission Impossible 2, 3, 4, or however many there are. Um, but this one came out in, I believe, 1990 something. I had it up and now it's gone, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Nobody really cares. Um, it came out a long time ago, but I never seen this movie, um, or any of the Mission Impossible movies. So on top of the Conjuring universe that we're doing, we're doing the Mission Impossible universe as well as Insidious universe. Um, so we're going to be doing that and add it in other movies as well. You guys know on this channel I stretch things as long as I can. I'm very excited to be jumping into the Mission Impossible universe. Um, I feel like this is going to be the closest we will get to like a 007 type of feel on my platform because I've seen all the, I've seen, not all, but a lot of the 007 films, so there'll be no point of me watching it again. But this is kind of from what I know of, it's like pretty much like the same thing, right? You know what other universe I've never seen? The Bourne, Jason Bourne, is that his name? Or James Bourne, some out of Bourne. I never really got, I never, I've wanted to. I think I've seen maybe one movie or I've seen parts of that movie. The Born Identity, that's what it's called. But I never got into that. Maybe you guys would want to see that after we get rid of one of these uh, things that we're in. But I'm going to jump into this. I don't remember how many Mission Impossible movies there are, but we will be watching them all. And there is a new Mission Impossible movie, movie that is right in the theaters. That's what made me think about this Mission Impossible. So eventually, as soon as we get caught up to all the Mission Impossibles, we're going to jump right into the, uh, the Mission Impossible movie. And I'm going to try to push out as much as Mission Impossible movies as I can. Um to see. Now, let me let you guys know, because this is something new and it's going to be continuing. If the views aren't viewing y'all, the likes aren't liking, and the comments just aren't commenting, you already know what's going to happen. Mission Impossible will be literally a Mission Impossible. I drop things like a bad habit, so if you guys aren't into it, then I'm not into it either. Um, even if I really do like the TV show or slash movie, here on this platform, I just really am such a different reactor, y'all. I just really refuse to like film for hours and then edit for even longer, and then people just don't really care about it. So. Um, that's what I do. I'm very, I'm, I'm notorious for doing that. People get upset too. I kind of get upset with them too. I, I, not upset with them, but I kind of feel their pain. Like sometimes I really do want to watch a show, but like if it doesn't garner any views, it's just like, what's the point in doing it? You get what I'm saying? Um, so I'm ready to jump into this reaction, y'all. If you would like to see this in a full reaction, you can. On the third tier, it'll be available here on this platform that will most likely copyright this as well as my other the platform Patreon. So guys, once again, if you'd like to see this in a full reaction, please know YouTube is YouTubing. I feel like as I'm getting uh, bigger on this platform, they definitely will copyright my sh and block my sh They'll do it very, very easily. So if you would like to see this once again in a full reaction, please join one of those platforms today, y'all. Um, I'd rather you go onto the Patreon side of things since YouTube is trying to piss us off. Anyways, let's jump into Mission Impossible and find out exactly what this movie has got to give. Would you like to watch a movie, Mr. Phelps? I prefer the theater. Consider the cinema of the Ukraine. The man you're looking at is Alexander Golitsyn, an attaché at our embassy. He is also a traitor, stolen one half of a CIA knock list. 
For security reasons, the knock list is divided in two. This half is useless without its mate, which matches the code names with their true name. Shadow Galitzin to his buyer and apprehend them both. Sarah Davies is already undercover. Jack Harmon can hack into any security system. Wife Claire will cover transport. And Ethan Hunt will be your point man. Hot or killed, the secretary will disavow all knowledge of your action. It will self-destruct in five seconds. Keeb. We hear about that now. Prague. We photograph Galitzin stealing the knock list. Follow him to his buyer. You're going into the embassy in character during a party. Make contact with Ethan. You'll run the game together. I have nothing to wear. You'll mark Galitz and hand him off to Hannah. Hannah, you'll have him for the duration of the interior. Fingerprint security. There's access through the elevator shaft. Claire, mm -hmm. you'll cover outside in the vehicle. Hannah will join you. Anything goes wrong, I call abort. Everybody walk away immediately. Regroup here at 4 a.m. That's 0400. They put you up this time. The plaza? Drake Hotel, Chicago. Names of our agents in every country in Eastern Europe will be up for grabs to the highest bidders. If they're exposed, they'll be executed. We'll run the whole show from the crow's nest here. Everyone knows their roles. Let's punch out the detail. Whatever you see, it sees, and then it transmits it back here. You have lovely eyes. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. We're using Waltzer? He's our guy. This week he's fly fishing. The Uderard slew in County Kildare with one of our best. And in now the process, Frank destroy Jack. the intelligence capability no, of John. this country. You were living in a democracy the last time I checked. Come up against a lock you can't pick, you mash them together. Ethan, Jack's inside. Let's go. Ethan. How do you do, Senator? I'm Rand Hausman, the ambassador's aide. Oh, Mr. Howard. Let me see if I can steer you through this reception line. I bet you don't remember me, do you? Well, of course I do. How are you, Miss Norman? Hannah. You You're advanced. You mentioned that you'd like a tour of the facility, so I've gone ahead and set one up. Excuse me. Damn, right in your face. Oh, great. <laughs> Governor's in position now. Uh, as you can see, there's a marine guard and video surveillance. Now, Sergeant, why are you not in your uniform this evening? Tell me, Senator, do you not have someone on your staff named Jack? Unreliable fellow, as I recall, constantly late. <laughs> Behind in his work. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Thank you. That date with Sarah is definitely off. <laughs> He's rolling to you. Jack, we're in position here. Put on my coat, I'm gonna freeze. Jack, open the doors. He's in the box, Ethan, he's in the box. Okay. I'm opening the doors, go under. Saved your ass again, Jack. Give me a break, Pops. Such a nice house. Jack, we're in position. Open the doors and let the package roll. Roger that. Jack, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I don't have control, Jack. Oh, then I got a problem. Cut the power. Jack. Jack, you copy. Jack? Man down, Ethan. Ethan, stay where you are. I'm coming to you. <laughs> My cage is out in the open. Jimmy's in the open. I've got a shadow. Can you lose him? No. Abort. I can't do that. We're being ambushed, Ethan. Abort. That's an order. Going recover that disc. You understand me? God, she's gonna die. Where are you? About 200 yards from the bridge. They're covering this frequency. Everybody's dead! 
Sarah, aboard. Good. She can't hear you. He said all communication things are. Central Europe unsecured. Designator. This is Ethan Hunt. They're dead. They knew we were coming, man. They knew we were coming and the disc is gone. Do you read me? The list is in the open! Listen, I read. Okay, location green, one hour. I'll be there myself. This is things see through. I don't like that. I know how much Jim uh, in particular meant to you, Ethan. It's a passport uh, visa, usual drill. I think we've lost enough agents for one night. You mean I've lost enough agents? You seem hell-bent on blaming yourself, Ethan. <sighs> Who else is left? Why was there another team of IMF agents at the embassy tonight? The drunk Russians on the embankment at 7, 8 o'clock. The waiter standing behind Hannah at the top of the stairs. Bow tie, 12 o'clock. You're worried about me. Why? Today we decoded a message on the internet from a check we know as MAC, City for Anonymity and for Corrupting Susceptible Agents. The operation he referred to as Job 314, the job he thought Galitzin was doing tonight. The actual list is secure at Langley. Uh, Galitzin was a lightning rod. He was one of our... This whole operation was a moment. And like you said, you survived. Our family's farm has been in receivership father's illness was supposed to have wiped out that bank account. I can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. You want to shake hands with the devil? That's fine with me. I just want to make sure that you do it in hell. in front of my bedroom. <laughs> a message on the internet from a check we know as Mac. Operation he referred to as Job 314. Job 314. Holy Bible. Job 314. Sleep in the rest of the kids and What are you found? <laughs> you you were in the car wake up claire jim's dead they're dead they're all dead who sent you for me jim's dead who sent you here i walked away he said the boy i just who sent you who sent you for me yesterday or clock if we're bored we don't return here until four o'clock or four hundred four a.m i've been disavowed i actually think i killed jim and everyone else Kittredge assumes I'm the mole they've been tracing and I've been in the employ of an arms dealer. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna get it for him. Whoever the mole is. I think it goes by the name of Joe. I can't find him, but if he knows I have a knock list, he'll find me. I'm gonna go in. If you're not dead, he's gonna assume you're with me. Oh, we got an email. Can I trouble you for a match? Would you remove your hat, please? You wish to meet Max? The price of admission. I thought I was going to see Max. You misunderstood. No one sees Max. Well, I don't communicate very well through a shroud. Well. Who are you and what are you doing here? 
I need one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> if you simply showed up, I might give it to you. Job is not given to quoting scripture in his communications. Playful. Job is not playful. So you are something of a paradox. I want one hundred and fifty thousand dollars today. Ah. The disc Job sold you. It's worthless. Part of an internal mole hunt. And how might you know that? We're asking about you. And I'm asking about you. I don't know Job any more than Job knows me. It's not only worthless, it's certain to be equipped with a homing device to pinpoint your exact location. In anywhere from 30 seconds to 10 minutes, you'll have Virginia farm boys hopping around you. It's easy to say the disc is worthless when you say I can't look at the information. Okay, use it. I'd suggest you pack first. 26, 27. So far, so good. I'd oh. say you've got about two minutes. Forty-four and forty-five. Man's gone black, Barnes. Use somebody at the embassy. Involve the local authorities. We can cut off his transportation. These guys are trained to be ghosts. We taught them to do it for Christ's sake. Well, what do you suggest? Find something that's personally important to him, and you squeeze. Sorry, I doubted you, dear boy. You are a good sport. I don't have to tell you what a comfort anonymity can be in my profession. My deal with Job was subject to a successful boot scan. Obviously, didn't pass muster. Deals off. Ten million in negotiable U.S. Treasury certificates and bearer form coupons attached. Your personal assurance that Job will be at the exchange. Max made a deal with you. I deliver a knock list. Max delivers Job. We've got 75 rounds for your Beretta, but only 20 for the six hour. Plenty of passports and. You said it yourself. If I'm not dead, I'm with you. We need some help. We don't have a lot of times so they're gonna have to be local. Exfil opens the pocket. Cyberops lifts the wallet. Where exactly is it? In Langley. Inside CIA headquarters at Langley. Why don't we drop by Fort Knox? I can fly a helicopter right in through the lobby. Information. What kind? Profitable. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, this doesn't sound like the Luther Stickle I heard of. Only man alive who actually hacked NATO Ghostcom. That exceptional piece of work. This is the Mount Everest of hacks. You all kidding yourself? Free access, do three. Trigger can get it. I'm talking about the 686 prototypes with the artificial intelligence risk chip. I get to keep the equipment when we're done. Well, Luther, I guess you're all out of excuses. I just can't hack my way inside. I'd have to be physically at the terminal. It's much worse than you think. The first is a voice print identification and a six-digit access code. Next, he has to pass a retinal scan. The intrusion countermeasures are only deactivated by a double electronic key card. There are three systems operating whenever the technician is out of the room. The second system detects any increase in temperature. Now that temperature is controlled by the air conditioner vent is guarded by a laser net. Any one of these systems, if set off, will activate an automatic lockdown our state of the art and you really think we can do this <laughs> we're going to do it what he wants through here recruiting for what purpose Survival. Where does he need to get it? Barnes, what the hell's that noise? Fire alarm, Gene. Hey, there were three of you. Where's the other guy? <laughs> Zero body count. We'll see. You almost got the shot of him. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Hi there. Toast. Toast. Damn. Absolute silence. 
<laughs> now, no shade, no tea. This is like famous, like this scene. Damn, he's strong. No way. That man would have fell. He said the voice behind Corridor. William Donlow. He's coming in the vault. Damn, all that. <laughs> He's in the bathroom. Silence, please. He's sweating. I'm getting nervous for everybody involved. Look at that. Kittredge. You and I know about this. That's where it stopped. I want a Manning a radar tower in Alaska by the end of the day. You contacting your buyer? Excuse me, Mr. Hand. You're not going to any meeting without me. I don't think you're in any position to give orders. Holding this. Trigger. Thank you. But what's the matter, you? You've never seen this trick. <laughs> oh, God. You're thinking back in the computer room. I was up here. He was, he was down there. It's so hard to keep track of these things. <laughs> Where is it? Do you actually think I'd let you have the knock list? Try any slight hand with my money. I'll cut your throat. That's probably the knock list. <laughs> the Gideons and Drake Hotel of Chicago. You're off on one of your cushy recruiting assignments again? Drake Hotel. Oh. Krigo was my call. We did what we had to do. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Is she the villain? Like we thought? Or? Krigo did have the lock lips? <laughs> what makes you trust me? Because if you knew what you were getting into, you never would have done it. I'm not going to let this get out in the open. Don't let this knock list get out in the open. He died, right? It's hard to tell. I'm gonna have to be close. Federal agents claim to have found the brains behind an international drug and hunt and her brother-in-law, Donald Hunt. Case of a naive and lonely widow. I see you've been out visiting the folks. It's Hunt. I like mom off to jail in shackles. It was an especially nice touch. After you come in is to have these ridiculous charges against your family drop. Play down the charges against you as well. If you're dealing with someone crushed, Stab. Shot. How devastated do you think you're going to make him by marching Ma and Uncle Donald down to the county courthouse? You wanted us to know he was in London. You're a hard man to catch up with. I knew he wasn't dead. I checked our aliases. And that's when you picked us up in the States. You yeah, know I like the rentals Liverpool Street. Hey, I showed him to you. Doctor's got to look at that. You can't sit up straight. I can sit up straight. Who did it? Get that information out. I saw him shot me. Who? I saw them all. It was Kittredge. Kittredge is the one. Oh my god. Oh my god, of course. First he took out Jack. At the elevator. Uh -huh. He shot you on the bridge. We sped back up, take out Gallitzin and Sarah's defense. No, he could have done the himself. He knows. He's figuring it out. 
Why, Jim? When you think about it, Ethan, it was inevitable. No more Cold War operations. You answer to no one but yourself. You wake up, the President of the United States is running the country without your permission. The son of a bitch, how dare he? How dare you? We'll go after the no-good son of a bitch big time. You killed everybody, though. He'll come after us. What's gonna make him do that? The knocklist. I supposedly deliver the knocklist to Max. Max has agreed to deliver Job to me. I was in a cafe waiting for you, Ethan. And there she was. Standing in the rain. God knows what she's had to do. To forget me, to keep going. She can't know about me, Ethan. No one can. Not till this is over. Once we leave the safe house, Jimmy, you get in there and crash. I'm really confused now. I don't know what's happening. I thought he was, I thought he killed everybody. Send the message to Max. We're on for tomorrow. In coming set for you. X-ray clean, electronics, and no explosive. How long to the London terminus? 20, 25 minutes. You've got 10 minutes. Move. Yes. Get me Max. It's him. There's a piece of black cloth under your seat. Tear it away. You find the disc. Yeah, why? Yeah, possibility is worth 10 million. Baggage car wreck, three. What about Job? Wouldn't worry about him when you get the money. He'll find you. It's not transmitting. I'll try it, try it again. Damn it, I've got to get this through before we hit the channel. Did you check the batteries? I always check the batteries. Bullshit, we don't even know what Max looks like. Excuse me, sir. Hello. Your telephone? Hello. Hello. Um, it's working. <laughs> he's in the baggage car. And when he's in the baggage car, I'll meet you there. Barnes? He said such a good idea to kill him. We take the money. Ethan takes the blame. No one will believe him. Of course, I'm very sorry to hear you say that, Claire. Yes. Ethan Hunt, darling, you remember him. You knew about Jim. Of course. Just exactly when he knew is something of a question. But after you took the Bible from the Drake Hotel in Chicago. Ooh. Those damn kids. If you knew about Jim, why? Why the masquerade? You've asked the question. And you are the answer. Claire was never convinced her charms would work on you. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Let's just get the money and get out of here. The money. The money. Ethan. The money. <laughs> Your Claire was wrong about one thing, Jim. Good morning, Mr. Phelps. This is what you're looking for. 
My lawyers are going to have a field day with this. Maybe we'll just leave the courts out of this one. Sure, we can find something I have that you need. It collided with a high-speed train on its way from London to Paris. An apology from the Justice Department, VIP treatment. Well, my mom was a little confused how the DEA could mistake her at the disavowed list. Hey, I'm the flavor of the month. Why don't you come back with me? I just... I just don't know why I'd be doing it. So how does it feel to be a solid citizen again? I'm gonna miss being disreputable. I always think you that way. Would you like to watch a movie? Would you consider the cinema of the Caribbean? Aruba, perhaps. Well, well. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> so here are my movie reactions. We always do something called smash or pass. Um, so smash means you like it, guys. And pass means... See you later. Um, I would smash this movie. I think it was really good. No shade, no tea. Somewhere in the middle, it missed me a little bit. But I think it's just because, once again, first time I'm uh, actually filming for the day, anytime I film for the first time, I always am a little bit out of it, and I don't know why. Um, and I have to, like, throw a bunch of, like, sugar at me to get me all the way in the mood. But once I was there, I was loving it. I was kind of confused, because I was like, wait, he knows what's going on, but, like, what's going on? Um, <laughs> he knows what's going on, but what's going on? Max, um, okay, first of all, let's talk about the lady who died, who ended up being bad. Didn't she mind you? I think I said in the reaction. I don't know if I edited it, it edited it in. Try to say that three times fast. Um, but the lady with the big lips, she looks like Daenerys, and she also looks like Angelina Jolie. Like a mixture, and I don't know who that lady is. I don't know if I've seen her in other movies or not, but she was fun. Everybody was really good. Everybody was really good. Um, once I saw the main guy, what was his name, Jack? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like everybody's name is Jack. But that guy who died, like he, he fake died. When he, they said he was dead, I was like, him? Dead? He's like a big actor. I don't know if he passed away or not, but he just looks like a villain. Like, he doesn't even look like he's someone a good guy. Like, not a, and so did she, the big lip, uh, Angela, the lady. <laughs> I'm, me, the nerve to call somebody having big lips. Look at my lips. Um, whatever. But yeah, so both of them, I kind of like, I don't know, back of my mind, I was like, yeah, they're villains. And then we were introduced to the guy with the knife. I was like, yeah, yeah, isn't he a villain like in a TV show I've seen or a, a, tons of movie I've seen? And he never plays a good guy either. So you can kind of piece all of these villains together. I was kind of confused about Max. I guess Max was working with Job, who ended up being the main guy, the main villain. And I guess the whole gist of this was he wanted to get to $10 million. She wanted... So why did Job... Why did he give her a fake disc? Oh, because he didn't know it was fake. Because the CIA thought the whole time that there was a mole and they were correct. Okay, get it! And so, okay, I got it. Um, you see, just kind of talk it through. I think the, by the way, dun, 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 isn't that from like 007? Because I've never seen Mission Impossible, none of it. Maybe, maybe I've seen a trailer with that. I'm pretty sure it was 007 because I think I played it like a video game and that music came on. But I don't see a 007 and Mission Impossible would have the same music. No way. Um, that just wouldn't make any sense. So maybe, obviously, I heard it from somewhere. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, this movie is old and the franchise has extended in for all the way from, what is this? I think this is 1996, 1995, 1998, around that gist. And now we're in 2023 and it's still coming on. So obviously, I heard the beat. And I like it. Bam, 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 bam. So the music, the soundtrack, I would give a 10. Um, the storytelling, although quite confusing, I would give a 9, an 8.5 to 9. The action, a 10, especially back in 98 or, but no shade, no tea. I think Speed came out in 98 too, or around that time, 97, 98. And Speed's action, that movie, have you seen Speed? That movie was phenomenal. And I think they came out around the same time. They had to be. Because Speed came out in the 90s. Uh, with, uh, with, um, Keanu Reeves. And he gives. He is. 
Keanu Reeves is like my acting father and I love him. Like he will do no wrong in my eyes ever. Um, and yeah, Tom Cruise is amazing. Tom Cruise had a little booty in here. I don't know, all the straight people are probably like, really? Like I just can't watch a gay man without him talking about somebody's booty. Sorry, I'm a verse. Um, so you know, you know I gotta say it. Um, yeah, so I think overall, what would I rate this movie? I think I would rate it a nine. I think it was completely rewatchable. This also reminds me of another movie that we've seen on this platform that I can't really remember what it was. Um, but it kind of had the same gist. And I believe that Born Identity also has this same type of storyline, like mistaken identity, right? Um, no, I have not seen Born Identity. Yes, I do not understand the plot of that, at least the first movie. Um, so yes, I would rate this whole movie altogether with everything involved. I would rate it a 9. Rewatchable, um, family friendly, not one person cursed. Did they? I don't think so. Um, just it was a good old flick. Why have we never done this on my platform? I'm letting you know right now, YouTube probably will block this. Holy shit. <laughs> They will block it. They will copyright claim it. That means it's going to be edited down even worse. If you would not see this in a full reaction, y'all, please join the platform. If you see it edited down more than it was already edited down, and it looks like it's only 17 minutes of this shindig, and it's over an almost a two-hour movie, just know that was YouTube. Blame them. Don't blame me. Um, join the platform on Patreon. If you would like, if you want stickers next to your name when you guys comment, you guys could join over here on YouTube. Um, I really want to do a lot. I've been talking about it for two months and I haven't done yet. So, but if you do join me on YouTube and when I start going on live, um, I just have to buy, I'll, I'll buy that thing. I'll buy it today. Um, when I start going on live, you guys would have like cute little names to your names and that's why a lot of people join the platform YouTube plus they feel more safe than Patreon. I don't know what Patreon, like how they charge or whatever like that. But, um, Patreon just keeps the links. Patreon, uh, if you want to uh, support the the content creator, Patreon gives more of the profits to the content creator. YouTube takes everything. Not only do they block your shit, they take all your shit. So, I mean, they are a horrible landlord. But anyways, I love this movie, and we will be getting into I will be pushing out as quickly as possible. Mission. You're going to probably see a lot of Mission Impossibles. I don't, I know there's a lot. I think there's like nine Mission Impossibles. I don't know if that's counting the new one right now. How about this? Since you guys are here, let's just do this together. One second. Alexa, turn off uh, alarm. Alexa, cancel all alarms. You're probably saying, what's happening? I don't know. There's no alarm set. It's going off. You guys hear it, right? <laughs> I have no idea why it's going off. Um, Mission Impossible movies. One that just came out right now is Mission Impossible 7, but they already greenlit apparently Mission Impossible 8, and that's coming out in 2024. What? That's crazy. How is that possible? How is that possible? Oh, it's because I guess Mission Impossible 7 is a two-parter. Anyways, um, where are we getting into all these Mission Impossibles? I want to push as, uh, as much as much Mission Impossible's out, so we're getting right into the one that just came out into the theaters. Yes, we will be reacting to that on this platform, along with a bunch of other movies, guys. So if you're into all of my movies, if you're into um, all these movies that are be dropping, a lot of new content, please, please just subscribe, like, and share. Comment down below. This is a smash or pass reaction, so please, I would like to see the smashes. I want to see the passes. Comment down below. Smash or pass. I can't wait to wait, wait to read y'all. And I'll... No, I don't want to read y'all. I can't wait to read y'all comments. <laughs> I could read you if you want me to. And I'll see you guys next time with more Movie Night.